Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today I'm going to resolve one of my most hated problems, connecting all of this beautiful mastering grade equipment without having to plug a cable ever again in my life. You know how? Through the Tegla connector. The Tegla connector is a digitally controlled mastering grade patch bay that allows you to select inputs and outputs at the touch of a button. I'm gonna show you how to install it and how it works. Coming up. Hey guys, great to have you back on the channel. Look at it. Look at it. It looks very simple, but it's very, very technologically advanced inside. I, uh, you know, honestly, this is one of those things that has been haunting me forever. Since the time of the Bantam patch base, they did not work. I've tried different patch base. They kind of work for a little while, but then... Yeah, now this is going to sort out my problems. Aaron, what do you say if we get rid of that? Yes, please. Yes. Ha! 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 Gone. Ah! 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 Mm. Yeah! 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 Gone! Forever! Here it is. I'm just gonna put it in the rack. Hello, Mr. Tegla. Yeah. Boom. There you go. It's a nice color, huh? Very blue. Cool. Three, four. Yeah, baby. Look at you. Let's give it some volts. Yes, baby. Boom. It's on. Good. So we're gonna have eight plus eight in on the Tegla and eight plus eight out on the Tegla. Correct. Cool. Let's go in the back. Yeah. What are you giving me? The output or the input? I'm giving me male XLRs. Male XLRs. So this has gotta be the output one and four, right? So one to four, these are male, right? And female this up all right how about if i go in the back and connect some of this stuff yep what's in the connection sheet uh, is a i think we just did this and i had them cut to write down well then basically now we are connecting our mastering chain the phoenix the ssl the cram the shadow hills and the gml correct correct all right, we've got it. So the connector talks to the computer via Ethernet. Let's connect it. Done. So here you're looking at the back of the SSL and the back of the Phoenix. SSL one and two. Left. Four. Three. Two. Much, much later. So it turns out that we had not enough Ethernet cables because I only have wired so many Ethernet cables and the studio grow a little bit big. So we had to put this hub. It's just five port desktop switch. It's connected right here. One part goes to the Ethernet network that we have. One goes to the Tegler connector and one goes to the PC. So we have been able to make it work. Can you show it to me, please? Here's what you get. Basically, you have two inputs and two outputs, and in the middle, you can put everything that you want. So now we have pretty much generic images, but we're gonna have our actual images, right? Yes. Okay, so can you show me, I, for example, we put in the um, Shadow Hills, for example. The Shadow Hills, Check. five and six. Five and six. So that should be the third one down. Right? Ah, oh, yes, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. Can you take it out now? Wow. And that's how it works? Yep. Yes. What do you say if we put all the right pictures? Yeah. 12 seconds later. Ooh, look at that. And these are pieces of gear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you slide in the SSL? Ha! Uh. 
All right. All right. Can you put in now the cram? <laughs> Are you saying that now we have access to everything all the times, whatever combination, without using the patch bay? Correct. Thankfully. Go check out the connector. Yeah! Thank you so much. I really love you.